Hi, this is Rick and thanks for joining. This is the third Excel 2010 BBA tutorial. In today's topic we're going to do a fairly basic macro here, but what I want to demonstrate today is the um, the use of what's called using the relative references uh, option. And, and right now you can see, by the way, the there's a little yellow border around there. If I click it, it goes off. That means it's off. The border again is on. So what we're going to do when we record our macro, we're going to make sure that button is turned on. And what that's going to do is give you a lot more flexibility, and I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate that right now. So we're going to go ahead and start off. I'm going to import this uh, addresses uh, list here. I'm going to go ahead and cut out several of these. I'm just going to go down here and delete those, and I'm going to go ahead and save a short list just to make this real simple. So I've got a list of, I don't know, eight or ten addresses there. So if I want to go in over here, I want to create a macro. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go ahead into the record macro option here, and I'm going to go ahead and call it. Uh, let's call it uh, relative addresses or address. Okay, and then we're going to go ahead and give it a shortcut. We'll do a uppercase a and B control shift a, and I'm going to say okay. Now up here in cell A1, I'm going to go ahead and type, uh, uh, let's see, mailing list, uh, and make a note, this file <coughs> was imported on, I'll put a colon here, and I'll go ahead and move the cursor over to cell D2 here, and I'll put in the uh, formula equals now open parenthesis, close parenthesis, hit return, and that's going to go ahead and put in the date and the time. Then I'm going to go down to cell A4, and I'm going to go ahead and import my data, and how I'm going to do that, I'm going to go to the data tab here, I'm going to go to get external data, I'm going to say from text, I'm going to pull in that addresses file, it's a delimited file, um, well that's how we're going to pull it in, I'm going to say next, and we're going to separate it by tab, which is already checked, um, so you know, just make sure you you've um, chosen the right option here and go ahead and hit next and then you can see it has a nice clean setup there and I'm going to go ahead and finish and now I'm going to say OK so now it started importing on row 4 and then it went down to row 13 so now what I might want to do is I might want to have a count you know think of this as getting you know much larger and you want to know automatically how many um, addresses you imported on a daily or weekly basis or whatever it was so what I'm going to do with my cell still highlighted um, on the a on the cell a4 here I'm going to go ahead and hit hit the control key and then hit the down arrow and that's going to take me to the very bottom row um, before a break so that's going to take me to the to the end of the list here then I'm going to hit down arrow and I'm going to do a formula. I'm going to do equals count open parenthesis and then I'm going to go up here and this just works like a sum formula too so I'm going to go ahead and hit the cell A4 there. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and put the dollar symbol here to make that an absolute value because we're always going to import starting on row 4 so I don't want that to ever change. So then I'm going to go ahead and do colon and I'm going to put my value to, which I'm going to go ahead and just click right here again. You notice it's going to insert A4 there for a moment, but then I'm going to hit Control down arrow again, and it's going to go to the very last cell. And then I'm going to close my parenthesis, and I'm going to get a count of 10. So then I'm going to click over here one cell over, and I'm going to say total count. Okay. And now what I'm going to do is I am going to stop this recording. And show you how, and, and I clicked, I clicked the uh, stop button down here to stop that. And I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate how the relative reference is going to help us out here. So I'm going to go ahead and hit uh, sheet two here, and I am going to go in here to. I'm going to go ahead and put in several more addresses here. So I'm going to go back into my addresses file. I'm going to drop in all these addresses. I'm going to go ahead and hit File, Save, Close Out. 
and now I'm going to go ahead and run that macro and I can do the shortcut or I can go into macros and I'm going to go ahead and do address uh, relative address here and I'm going to go ahead and say run now remember I added a lot, a lot of addresses here so what happened it imported all the new addresses it put my information the same thing this column just needs to be expanded to see the time of the date and now you know it put the put the exact time and date that I ran this macro and imported the files now I go from cell A4, now instead of going down to row, I think it was 13, now I go all the way down to row 55. And so what happened is, when I look at that formula now, it automatically adjusts because of my macro. Alright, so now if I go into the, again, if you want to go in and view the code, you can go into Alt F11, right, is one way to do it, or, and, and then you have to scroll, you know, you have to go find your uh, macro, it's not always going to open it right up. Okay, but I think we might be let's see module. I'm gonna go in here and do this rather than scrolling through there. I'm gonna go ahead and go into macros and I'm gonna go into relative address. I'm gonna click on it and then I'm gonna say edit and that'll bring it up directly. Okay, and that's in module five, so if we had just scrolled around there we'd have found it. So if you want to edit this code, and we'll do this in later tutorials, um, you can certainly go in here and change settings, right? You can make things uh, you know, you can make font bold, you can change um, different parameters. So anyways, you can um, experiment, um, you know, with, with different settings here and so forth, but that's what I want to demonstrate today. One other quick thing I wanted to point out is if you do a relative reference value, let's assume that you put in a, um, well actually I'll demonstrate it for you. Um, let's assume you want a title here. And you said, I'm going to go ahead and put in, let's create one real quick here. Report macro, we have relative reference on. I'm going to call this headings. And I'm not going to do a shortcut this time, I'll just leave it off. And then I'm going to go ahead and say street number and name. Okay, and then I'm going to make those... Uh, let's make them red and let's make them bold. Okay, then I'm going to go ahead and stop my macro. And now if I go to a new sheet, say sheet number three, and let's say I want to put that heading over here or right here, I can do that. I can go um, so developer macro and I can go to headings and I can say run. Okay, so that's what relative reference will do for you. If I had the absolute reference on it, I didn't have that, it would always put it right in that same spot. Okay, no matter where my cursor was, it would go back and put it in cells A3 and B3. So that's what I want to share with you uh, today. Thanks for joining and please subscribe.